In this Inkscape tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use layers. So let's start off here inside of Inkscape. I'm gonna click on the rectangle tool here on the left-hand side. I'm gonna draw a rectangle, nice blue rectangle. Now I'm going to click on this circle, the ellipse arc tool, and I'm going to draw a ellipse right there. Now when I drag the ellipse, it's gonna go over the square. But what happens if I wanted to go under the square? I can't seem to push it under there. Now, one thing you can do is you can just click on the item that you would like to move underneath, right click on it, and then go here to layers and objects. It's gonna open up a panel on the right hand side, and you'll see here I've got a path with a little circle next to it and a rectangle with a little rectangle next to it. So you can move the rectangle up. You can just drag it and now the rectangle is above the circle. If I click on the circle over here on the right hand side, I can drag it up and I can move it there as well. So now the circle is back up top. You can close out of this layers panel just by clicking the little X button and that will make it disappear. Another thing you can do with the object selected is there's these little shortcuts right here and if I hover over them, you'll see it says raise to the top, raise up one level, raise down one level, and then go right to the bottom. So when I click go right to the bottom, you'll see it goes now to the bottom layer and the square is now sitting on top. If you'd like to just see the layers panel, you can go here to layer and then go to the very first option that says layers and objects, and that will open up the layers panel over on the right hand side. The layers panel can be really helpful if you want to duplicate something. So here I've clicked on the rectangle, for example, and then I go to the layer that has the rectangle in it. I right click and I can go duplicate and that just gives me now a second rectangle. I've created a new layer with that rectangle on it. You can also delete something out. So for example, I'm gonna click here. This is the middle layer and you'll see here I've got a couple options. A little eyeball will render it invisible or you can lock the layer and now no matter what I do, if I click on it, it's not highlighted. The rectangle is now hardwired right into that layer. You can just simply click the little lock icon to unlock it, and then you can select it and you can continue to move on. You can also delete this completely. When you select the layer, just go here to the little trash can icon and that will delete the item as well. You can also create a brand new layer without actually creating an object to put in it. So right here at the top of the layers panel, there's a little plus button. And when you click it, it's going to ask you for a layer name. So for example, I could say shapes, and then it'll ask me, do you wanna put it above the current layer or below the current layer? I'm gonna say above the current layer, I'll click add. And now that's gonna give me a whole different layer now so that I can nest my designs inside that secondary layer. So it's like a subset of layers. Here I'm going to put a box here. So you can see now at the top I've got shapes is my primary layer and I can expand or contract that out. Inside I've got two objects and then I've got a whole different layer here that's got my text sitting in it. If you've got a whole bunch of items like I have here, the layers panel can be nice because you can just select one layer It'll tell you what's been selected. And then you can use these little arrow buttons here, move up or move down, and I can move them down underneath the respective layers. That's a nice feature. This works as well if you import an image. So here, for example, I have this image here of a finger that's pointing. And you can see here over on the right, it just calls it an image. You have the exact same options. You can simply drag it or you can click the little arrow buttons and you can move it down to the bottom or any layer that you choose. I hope you found this quick walkthrough helpful. I love using Inkscape. It's a free download. Check it out in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. Here's another video about Inkscape that you'll find helpful.